Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee doing this introduction on the road just because I don't have much time today. I'm kind of pressed for time. And uh, it's also stinking hot, so the less time I can spend out of air conditioning, the better. Um, and I've got this neat little tripod that holds the camera for me in the car. So anyway, um, I'm heading back out there. It's the day after I checked up on the split, found a queen, a brand new, looks like virgin queen. And uh, I was concerned, as were a number of commenters, that um, there aren't enough bees in that split. I knew it from the beginning, and it looks like more bees have made their way out of that hive and not back in it. So I need to do something about that today before I go away for the weekend. So I'm going to head back out. The other concern I, I had from the get-go was that they're in a full 10-frame box, and that's way too much space for them. So I brought a 5-frame nuke box to put them in yesterday. But when I opened another hive, I did a split off that hive because that hive was swarming too. So uh, I ended up using that five frame nuke box for that split. So I just brought a four frame core blast nuke box, a temporary box to reduce the hive. The other thing I noticed was that I said in yesterday's video right off the top that um, two honey frames had been robbed. But as I look back in my previous videos, they weren't robbed. I actually put them in in that form. They were robbed, but they were robbed before I put them in that hive. So what I'm planning on doing is swapping out some, uh, some bees or bringing bees from my strong hive that hasn't been swarming into the, uh, into the new nuke, reducing it down to four frames. I'd like to have a honey frame. I'd like to have a frame with a decent amount of pollen on it. Um, and then I'd like to have two empty frames for the new queen to lay. Now for that, I've got to find the new queen in the new box and move her into the nuke. And hopefully the frame that she's on is a good frame for her for resources and or laying. I've got to go to the box that I'm going to get the bees from and find the queen there. Hopefully I found her yesterday, which was fantastic, but I didn't get it on video. I'm so upset. Uh, it would have been an amazing video, but it ain't. So anyway, I gotta find that queen, hopefully, and uh, make sure I don't take her over to that box. And uh, decide whether or not to keep brood in the, in the nuke box or not. There's two frames of brood in it right now, but they haven't had many bees to tend to the brood. It may be dead, it may not be, I suspect it's not. But I may pull the brood out of there or swap the brood with brood that I know is in good shape. Uh, that part I haven't decided yet. I'm going to make that decision on the fly when I get there. So uh, thanks for joining me. It's another gorgeous day. But um, the other thing is I, I cannot, normally you might want to lock these bees into that nuke for a day or two so that uh, they get used to it and they're less likely to head back to the other hive as soon as they leave. But I can't do that. I can't be back out here for another three days. So I've got to do what I can do and hope that it does well. So thanks for joining me at 4D Honeybee. Okay, so the plan here is to take this hive, which was the hive I split about a week ago, and condense it from 10 frames, which it's currently at now, to four frames into this nuke box. And just allow the queen a bit of a tighter space, easier to keep uh, the brood at the right temperature, easier to defend, easier to manage uh, when you're starting up a hive. So. Um, how I do it, I'm not exactly sure. What I'm going to do is uh, set up the nuke box right beside the hive. Look for the queen in the, in the hive, in the big box. Hopefully find her and move that frame over. And then I've got to find frames from that hive over there. So that hive is my strongest hive. Beautiful queen in it that I saw yesterday. And uh, lots of brood and stuff. And I just have to determine what I put in for resources. Ideally what I'd like to have is one frame full of honey, uh, one frame with a lot of pollen, and then hopefully two frames with maybe a combination of pollen, but then two frames with the ability to lay. Because if this queen uh, does uh, get impregnated, I guess, does get fertilized, then she's going to need to start laying eggs in a hurry. And that obviously is the, is the sign of a healthy hive. So that's what we got on the go. How it works out, we'll see. So here you can see where the four frames are going to end up there. And there's a couple of vents in there too, so these aren't made for long term. If they can last a week or two, give time for the queen to really get going, that would be great.
Okay, so mission, find queen. Looks like that inner lid is stuck to the box. Okay, so the queen might be up there, but I highly doubt it. So let's go through the frames here. So these two outside frames we know are just empty frames. And I said before, I said so in my intro, these were not robbed while they were in the hive here. These were robbed before I put them in. So there is some honey in this frame. Nothing there. So we'll just uh, probably move those frames to the hive that I'm going to take bees and maybe brood from. These are ready to be filled here, so that'd be nice. A queen would like to be able to fill those frames up. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I have not started up my smoker. So, probably just jinxed myself, but... I'm gonna try and do this whole deal without smoke, because they've just been so good. I'm tight for time, and I'm gonna push my luck. So just looking for the queen, you can see there's just not enough bees in this hive at all. Now this frame is not a bad frame for laying. It's got honey on the outside top. It's got... Let's see if I can find a better frame than that. So I'm hoping the queen is on a good frame here that I would just want to move over into the nuke. Okay, this is the frame with a bunch of brood on it. And, well, fewer queen cells. You see here, yesterday there were three cells and one open. Three capped and one open. Same deal now, but the open cell is a lot smaller, so it looks like they're wearing it down. And this cell over here is still perfect. So they're still looking at making a new queen here. Don't see the queen on this hive. So this one, it's got brood on it. Let's see if it's got eggs. Yeah, other than the brood that's there, I don't see much more as far as eggs and I do see larvae there and I do see eggs. So this is not a bad frame to have simply because they're working on requeening. And again, if this queen doesn't take, then maybe that frame is a good one to have. So it's not resource rich. It's got honey on the outside and it does have some room to lay. So. That might be one that goes. Here's another heavy frame. And there's the queen right there. See her? Right in the middle. Right where she should. And she's getting bigger. She's a good looking queen. She seems to be a lot bigger than she was before. Let's have a look at her here. You see her there? Oh, there's a wasp there too. Two queen cells on this frame. See her working her way around there. See her at the very bottom right. Okay, let's get her and this frame into the box. Okay, seems pretty good. Now we're gonna have to end up putting all the bees in that box anyway, but now I wanna find frames where I feel the queen has some resources and has some room to lay. Now that queen might be laying. That, uh, yeah, this looks like more or less dead brood. And there's a larva. Yeah, there's not much going on in this frame. 
There's another queen cell and some more larva. There's some more brood. Larva and eggs and pollen. This is a good resource frame, so I'm going to go with that frame in here. Just because it had lots of pollen in it. And they're going to need that pollen for the new, the new bees. Now, I just have two frames left to put in there. And I don't want to jam up that, uh, that hive because I'm going to have to knock a, shake a lot of bees in there. So let's see what to do, what to do. Hmm. It's almost like I could do another split with this, with this, uh, with these queen cells here. But it's a lot of queens. Okay, let's get some bees going in there first and foremost. And I'm pulling out frames and they literally have like five bees on them. More wasps than bees probably, but every bee counts. So let's try and get them all in there. Maybe I'll put the frames that I'm not using out here so that the bees will make their way in to the box. I have to give her one really good solid honey frame. And this ain't it. This is a frame that's empty. So I'm going to go to the other hive now and uh, just see what I can take from resources from that hive. It's going to need a lot of bees first and foremost because this is nowhere near enough bees to help out that queen. So let's see what we can do for, for There aren't that many bees on this frame, but I'm going to take this frame and drop it in there. Okay, this is a frame I will shake into there. This is just not that many bees on it. And no queen on it. Looking at the rest of the frames here, there's not much going on as far as building here. So I'm gonna check these two frames again. And probably, if I don't find the queen, shake them in, because that will be enough bees for that. It's likely that if the queen's not on these two frames, that she's in the bottom box, which is perfectly fine. Lots of fanning going on. It's 25 degrees Celsius, which is about 77 Fahrenheit. Not sure if I said that before, but it's nice and sunny and you can hear those, uh, cicada bugs which i was able to have confirmed by excellent youtubers that follow the channel i <laughs> heard them all my life never seen them i thought they were more like grasshoppers cicada bugs but man there's no mistake in them once you see them holy smokes okay i'm not seeing a queen here so these bees are going in okay let's see if they get in there and stick So I don't know if I'm knocking more bees out that I'm putting in, but anyway, trying my best. Okay, let's have another look at this frame. Now this frame is really heavy with larva on the one side. I should say um, capped brood. Let's check the other side. And this side's open for laying. So let's just make sure the queen's not on here. But this may be the frame that I take over there. Just be nice to have more pollen. I feel I'm short on pollen. So maybe what I'll do is put this frame in there and then go out and grab a pollen patty. I don't have one at home, so I have to buy one. I'm going to knock these bees into that hive as well, just because it'll be relatively easy. A lot of them will end up flying though. Okay. 
Come on, bees. Give me bees here. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. Well, let's see what we got. This side is not yet filled. This side is filled. I'm going with it. Have a look for the queen on the way. Okay. Okay, so the nuke is done, or I should say redone. It went from that box, which I will have to close up and take away, to that box with many more bees in it. So you can see the box has got some ventilation here and the same type of a slip at the back. And you can see them already coming in and out of that. So I'll put a brick on that and then I'll leave that for at least a few days. I saw the queen in there, she looks a lot bigger than she did just a couple of days ago. So there's a good chance there is a viable queen in there. And let's let her start to get to work. Let's see how it works. A little low on pollen, and of course it's gonna lose a bunch of bees, but has more bees than it had yesterday. So let's see how it works, and thanks for joining me.